We are here today at Allison 18 in Chelsea to meet with Allison Price Becker as she is going to be creating a couple amazing recipes using Walker shortbread cookies. Let's go inside and take a look. Allison, it's a pleasure to meet you. So lovely to meet you too. Thanks for having us. Thank you for being here. So show me what you're going to be making today. So for this holiday dessert, we are doing a crunchy ginger hair bread pudding with Walker's stem ginger shortbread. So to start this recipe, we are going to make these beautiful cookies into beautiful cookie chunks. I love working with Walker's shortbread because it's an all natural product. It's butter, sugar, flour, just a pinch of salt. We have the same recipe since 1898, but it's really fun to work with. And any recipe that calls for cookie crumb, you can absolutely substitute one of the Walker's shortbreads or biscuits. So awesome. It's really fun. Just a luxurious cookie, this cookie. And you'll find these lovely chunks of ginger. Just trying to show you one here. Lovely chunk of ginger in here. You might want to try, there we go. But it's the flavor on this, sorry. <laughs> It's just, it's true ginger, it's really beautiful. This is your bread, cut into cubes, all ready to go. So we're gonna take our milk, and our cream. All right, now while that milk is just getting a little bit warmer over there, we're gonna take the sugar, and my whisk, and we are going to pour the sugar into mixture. Okay, now, well that's just getting a little bit warmer. We are going to take our eggs. I'm going to whisk these eggs here. Okay, we're whisking the two whole eggs and six egg yolks, to which we are going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and half a teaspoon of pure almond extract as well. In the meantime, while we're waiting for our milk to do its thing, we will set up these ramekins. So you're going to take your bread mix mixture, this little handful on the bottom of each. We're taking our pear slices. You can also, if you want, cut your pears into chunks or just rip them. I happen to like it in the slice form. It's a little more elegant. Then we will take a sp sprinkle of dates on each one, so mix that around on top there. And now, we take our Walker's Stem Ginger Shortbread. Now, we're going to pack this down so we can fit more in here, like so. so I'm gonna take this and gradually Enter it into the eggs. Now we add a little bit of cinnamon into it. Today I'm using a little ginger liqueur, Canton ginger liqueur, or you can use a nice sweet pear liqueur, a bar, but make sure you use a liqueur, not an eau de vie. Well, you could use an eau de vie, but it, we might get a little, a little bit of a kick. So we put the ginger liqueur in, and a nice stir. Mm. A half cup and put into each. We take our bread. Smush down, and then we're adding a little more pear here. Now you see we're using the finer Walker's ginger stem shortbread crumbs here. So they can, we can get them in all the nooks and crannies. Now we're just going to carefully not make too much of a mess while we pour the rest of the milk mixture in. Now to finish off, we are going to take our chopped almonds and our dates. Okay, and then we will spoon a little more as much as it can handle. And it's okay if it flips out over the side. It's just fine. And now these will go into the oven. It's hot, 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 hot. 
And there we have our crunchy ginger pear bread pudding with Walker's stem ginger biscuits. I'll Let's go take these outside and go try okay. them. Okay, excellent. Come on. It's cream, oh. eggs, sugar, butter, everything <sighs> yummy in life. This is like heaven in a bowl. This is so good. Thank you. Unbelievable. In 1898, Joseph Walker started out with a mission, and over a hundred years later, Walker's shortbread is still making the world's finest shortbread. To see the complete product line and to get more recipe ideas, simply visit walkersshortbread.com.